Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So in today's lecture, we will study about analysis of frequency distribution. So as in previous lecture, we have studied about some type of measures of dispersion of data. So now we will analysis, we will do analysis on frequency distribution. So the mean deviation that we have find out and the standard deviation have the same units in which the data are given. So whenever we want to compare the variability or means how these two terms are differ with same mean which are measured in different units, we do not merely calculate the measures of dispersion but we require such measures which are independent of units which is called as coefficient of variation okay so which is also denoted by cv and the formula for cv is sigma which is standard deviation upon mean deviation into 100 so this is the formula for coefficient of variance or you can say variation okay so now if we are given the two frequency distribution so let's say the cv for first is sigma 1 upon xi bar into 100 and cv for 2 is coefficient of variation for 2 is sigma 2 upon mean, devi uh, mean deviation h2 into 100 okay so it is clear from equation 1 and 2 that the two cvs can be compared on the basis of the values of sigma 1 and sigma 2 only because we can say that x bar is x2 is equals to x1 okay that we can say if the two frequency distribution with same mean is given to us the mean is same so that we can compare the two coefficient of variation on the basis of their standard deviation only so this is very important result student now let's discuss some question based on it okay so students we are given a question in which coefficient of variation of two distribution are given to us let's say cv1 is 3 and cv2 is 70 that is given to us and the sigma1 means the standard deviation for one is 21 and sigma2 is 16 given to us what are their respective arithmetic means that we need to find out so I will use the formula for CV is sigma upon x bar into 100. So for the first observation we are given sigma CV equals 3 and sigma equal 21 upon x bar into 100. So from this we get the value of x bar as 35. Okay so this is x bar 1 and for second distribution similarly we can find out sigma 2 upon x bar 2 into 100 okay so from this x bar 2 is coming out to be 22.85 after putting all these values so student in this way we can find out the second arithmetic mean so what we need to find out in the question is the two arithmetic means and the first is 35 and the second we are getting as 22.85 so this is the simpler method to find out the arithmetic mean when we are given the standard deviation and the coefficient of variation okay i hope students now you are pretty clear about this method and in the next lecture we will discuss some miscellaneous questions based on this chapter that we have discussed till now okay so stay tuned for next lecture on some miscellaneous examples thank you happy learning